Hi, I'm Jason Houtsma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this YouTube lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the solo acoustic arrangement for Death Was Arrested. All our lessons have one of these. It just kind of helps you if you're the lead player on the song rather than just being kind of a background rhythm part. Kind of brings in some other melody lines, helps you cre recreate the song really just for acoustic guitar. If you're looking for the full lesson, you can go to get acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass, drums, and keys all at WorshipArtistry.com simply by clicking the W in the lower right hand corner. But if you just want to stay on YouTube, let's dive in. Okay, so you're the lead instrument on this song. And the song, you know, it's really mainly about holding dynamics because, you know, there's not a bunch of alternate hooks that are happening. So we have to think of ways to keep the song dynamic and keep it growing and building. So first off, what I would do is I would lose the capo. I would just use the chart, uh, the lead chart, which you use to kind of start the song off. I would use that for the whole thing. Um, there's no reason to make the switch, you know, especially if you're leading it, you don't want to mess with that. Secondly, I would start off just like the electric guitar is. So you can take a look at the electric guitar part, but I'd start off with that nice little. Because it has a nice rhythmic groove to it. But it still kind of creates a little bit more of the hook of the song. chorus, I'd still probably drop Oh Your Grace. My vocals kind of take over. And life begins with you. Then when we hit our that second verse, I would go with a little bit more of a groove, not so much of a just a constant down up. I'd add a little bit of a mute in there. So I'll show you that. We'd go, life begins with you. Chains, I'm a prisoner no more. So what I would do is give it a little bit of a shot on that to create kind of more of a snare feel so that one and two and three, four and five and six and one, two, three, four, five, six. You could put it just on the uh, one, two, three, or you could put it on just the six, kind of vary it, but you want to stay somewhat consistent so that you give more of a groove. So. you stay in rhythm right and then from there I would just kind of open up those chords a little more so the one thing you'd have to watch for you know if I go to more of like a full E5 for your grace so now that one gives you a little bit of a problem because you don't want to go to the suspended there we definitely don't want to do that so maybe there you stay with just a regular bar chord I thought it was nice on that G sharp minor 7 to go throw in that second fret of the E to emphasize that melody note. So, oh, me, you have been, now life begins with you. You throw in some suspended. And that kind of just allows you to keep really working the dynamic of the song and taking it to the place it really needs to go. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a really fun song to play. Try it along with the music video. Good luck.